Should I tell them that I'm the one who summoned the tornado? <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty. And your husband, too. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Jacob Hexa channel. Thanks for stopping by for a spell. So, as you can see, I look um, pretty fishy. Pretty cunty, pretty cunty. Um, so, this is my first time ever doing drag makeup. I had a little trouble with it, but I think it looks good. I think it looks really good. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I did it. I made a lot of mistakes, so. <laughs> pull up a chair, get some popcorn, get ready to laugh, and let's get into it. All right, you guys. So first we're gonna start with our eyebrows. Sanitize them with some alcohol, and then we're gonna go in with a glue stick to glue them down. Make sure you really get in between the hairs, and you're gonna brush them upwards to get them super flat on your face. Now I'm just taking some and smudging it in between the cracks of my eyebrow hairs so that it's super smooth. I'm smoothing out the edges so that you don't get un any unwanted texture and then powdering over them. Alright, and now I'm going to prime my face with the milk blur stick. I'm also going to use a professional in my T-zone just for some extra mattifying. Alright, now we're going to take our Mayron cream blend sticks and just go in. I'm using ogre green and white. Go ahead and use the white to highlight in the areas you want to bring forward. And go back in with the green to contour as well. Alright, and I also brought the green and white down my neck and chest and over my ears. Now we're going to highlight our collarbone just to give it some definition. Okay. And now I'm going to take the white and start to sketch out where I'd like the eyeshadow to go and where I'd like my eyebrows to sit on top of. Now I'm going to go ahead and powder my whole face, bake that whole mug, and I just go ahead and lightly powder down my neck and chest because it's not that important to set as it is with my face. Let it sit there for a moment and then dust it off. Alright, and now I'm taking a true green, deep green color to start my contour. I then later go in with forest green and then an army green with a brownish gray undertone to truly define my face.
All right, so now I'm going in with the eyeshadow and I'm just using the same colors that I use to contour my face with the addition of some dark gray at the end. Now with that same dark gray, I'm gonna be sketching out where I want my liner to go. Alright, so now I'm going to take a white NYX gel liner and I'm cutting the crease because it can also be used as a base. Doing a half cut crease today. Alright, and now I'm taking a heart clay paint liner and doing my liner going for a big wing today All right, and now I'm going to take that same white that I used to cut the crease and take it in my waterline and also line the bottom of the eyeliner with it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a cranberry color and go underneath that white line I just created. Now I'm taking a NYX gel liner in black and coloring in my eyebrows. Be sure not to go too heavy towards the center of the face to give them that ombre effect. Now I'm taking the white cream blend stick and highlighting underneath the eyebrows. Now we're gonna go ahead and put glitter on the cut crease. So take a glitter glue, apply it, and then dab on the glitter. Be sure to use a glitter that's safe for cosmetic use and not just craft glitter because that's totally not what I'm doing. All right, slayed. And now I put some big drag lashes on, also slayed. Mm, serving looks, mama, yes, 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 yes God, yes God, yes God. Alrighty, now I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Matte Lipstick in Kiss of Death. Put that on and let it dry. I'm also adding a white highlighter on the high points of my face. Now I'm going to take the NYX Wicked Lippy in and now for the guest of honor, the Fenty Lip Gloss in Astronauti on top. featuring the Fenty lip gloss. Oh, I'm gonna post some pictures on Instagram that are like right up on them because the gloss really transformed this black lipstick into like, <gasps> this is the second video of you Ween, which means there's two more to come. I know I'm a little late on it, so it's like, how are you gonna fit two more into just like one and a half weeks? But you will see, it's gonna be witchy. Thanks for stopping by. Go ahead and like the video if you liked it. Even if you didn't like it, like it. It costs you nothing. Leave a comment of anything that you'd like to see in the future. I won't be taking requests for Witchy Ween just because I've already got stuff planned. But 
open to future ideas. I did make these gloves if you're interested in seeing how I did that. I can do a tutorial on that. And yeah, oh, I stacked these lashes too. If you guys want to see how to get big drag lashes, I'll do a tutorial on that too. If you haven't subscribed, the button's down there. What are you doing? And I'll see you next time. Johnny.